Welcome back everybody to the Zeus Daz Unamulated Retro Game Channel and this time I'm going to try and attempt to long play with commentary Nebulous on the Amiga. Try and get through all eight towers, not an easy feat, a game that will pull any hair out of your head if you've got any hair on your head. It's a challenging game but there's eight towers all together and we're going to try and uh, complete this. <clears throat> now I've done a perfect run on the ZX Spectrum. <clears throat> um, I've also done a perfect run on the Commodore 64 version. Oh, and that is not a perfect start. Basically what I'm saying is uh, no deaths on those versions, but I've never done it with this. I have completed this, but I've never done a perfect run, but we'll see. First goal is to complete it. And uh, absolutely loved this game back in the day it was very challenging i first saw it on the atari st because that was the computer i had it back in the day before i sold it to get the amiga and um i think i got to about tower five back in the day and tower one is done just like that but yeah it's um it's amazing you know coming back to games 30 years later how well or how worse you are at them. I mean, there's games that I couldn't get anywhere back in the day. And now I get very far or even complete them. And there's other games I got far back in the day and I can't seem to do as well. It's very odd. Yeah. But, um, yeah, this was a toughie back in the day. I never completed this. Not back then. Very nice graphics, very nice effects. These are slightly, these are quicker than the 8-bit counterparts. So the timing is slightly different. The speed is faster. Collision detection is slightly different as well. There's all sorts of differences, little subtle differences, but the map of the of the towers are practically the same. And on this version, including the Atari ST, you've got a benefit of playing a set of eight new towers. They're just harder. There's more doorways and most of the towers are just reversed. Go! <laughs> Good. Right, gotta watch this because this bit slips, if I remember right. Oh no, don't. My memory's going, keep going. Some platforms just keep, you slip on it, but that's this tower done. There. Two down, six to go. I will complete, I know I'll complete this. Well, you'll know I'll complete this because otherwise it wouldn't have a Let's Long Play on it, would it? A Let's Long Play, as you know, or if you don't know, but you will now, is games I can complete without cheats, with commentary. So if you're watching this, then you bet your bottom dollar I've completed it. Whether, how many lives I've lost on the way, that we will find out. We'll find out together. Catch some fish. That section was never in the 8 bits apart from the Commodore 64. Not the Spectrum and the Amstrad anyway. This is a nasty bubble. That if it sometimes that's another thing about this version, these bubbles, balls, tend to have a knack of bouncing over your firepower and hitting you. Not so much on the other versions. This is a bit of the game where this sodding thing is handy. You need it. Come on, I know you want to there we go, get out of it. There we go. Very nice effects in it because at the end of the day, that character you're controlling, Pogo, um, is always in the same place of the screen, the center of the screen. He just moves left, right, and jumps up. It's everything else on the screen that moves around him. It's very clever. Down, perfect timing. It's all about timing. And that's the third tower done. Excellent. Extras, what are extras? What do I do? Shoot the balls as extras, maybe? Five to go. Let's catch some more fish. I think 
in the other versions, you only get points. In this version, you get bonus time bonus as well. So yeah, it's pretty good. The slippery slide, yeah. Got a nice little couple of jumps here. If you get them wrong, you're in the drink. Good. Shoot that. See, there we go, we're still in the moonwalk there. Uh, slidey platforms. Come on, where are you? Yeah, see, I'm not stupid. I knew you were coming. And as you may or may not know, there was an official sequel to this, Nebulous 2, Pogo A Go Go. You'll see that. You'll find that on my channel. The only channel that contains a long play of it. But that was with cheats enabled. It's impossibly hard. I think this was hard. Uh, this is a breeze compared to that. It's a massive game. Bigger towers. Yeah. Over three and a half hours to complete that game, but it's on my channel. In fact, I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can go to it. In fact, I might even put a end card at the end so you can click it. Now, this is a nasty little jump, this. You have to get this right, otherwise you'll fall back on yourself. Here. Nailed it first time. That's an awkward little jump, that. If you don't get it right... Oh, I should have gone then. should have gone then. One more. Now. Yes, that's good. Jump over that because I can't remember if you disappear. Now, this tower, I can safely say, is done. This tower's done. Um, now we're coming up to the what I consider is... Probably the second from worst tower. Not because of the hazards, but because it is twice as high. It's the biggest tower easily. And if the timing goes wrong in it, then you're really screwed. Right, halfway through the game. Doing well, not lost a life yet. And I've got a six lives banked. But as I said, um, it can all go wrong, so I'm not going to jinx myself. Excellent, 68. Broken patch, yeah. And this caught me out big time back in the day. I was gutted. It's crafty. There's a little platform here. You've got to jump. If you don't jump that platform, it disappears and you end up in the water. It was so cruel back in the day. I did get this far and I lost because of that. I mean, how could you predict that? Didn't have any Wi-Fi, you know, internet back then to check. I found out the hard way. Oh, he's going the wrong way. Damn. Go, quick, 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 quick. It's all about timing. Good. Up we go. Yeah, lots of tricky little jumps in this level. Gotcha. Drop down. Good. Wait. Okay. Um, yeah, and this back in the day, I didn't know what to do either. I had to jump up on that platform. I, I just couldn't figure out how to progress any further. And again, this is a nasty bit of level because I have to... I don't think there's one of those things that come along on this version. They do on the 8 and knocks you down a platform. But I think I've got to do the jump on this. I have. Screw it. Excellent. First time. Good. Now. This is horrible. This is all about the timing. Not the fourth door. So he's going the wrong way at the moment. That thing's zipping from left to right. Now he's going the right way. He's going the right way. That's good. That's good. That's perfect. No, you git. See what I... Oh, no. Please don't tell me that screwed the timing up. And that's wrong. Oh, what am I doing? I'm losing all my mojo. I've, I've, see, you get so... You little bugger ball. You get so disorientated because you get knocked around. This is number three. Go. Now. 
Yeah, he's going the right way now. He is. Go, 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 go. God, good recovery. You, you sod. Come here. You're not going to get me as well. I'll tell you that now. Where are you? Come on. That's it. Tower done. Oh, me heart fluttered there. Five down. <clears throat> Three to go. Perfect run so far. No lives lost. Catch some more fish. And you don't get any extra bonuses if you manage to get all these and do a perfect catch. You don't. I have done that several times. Okay. Uh, swimmer's delight, yeah. Nasty little bit at the beginning, this. It's like a little Chinese uh, puzzle box. You've got to go through all these little nooks and crannies and and free the lifts. One more. Got to time this right. It's a bit of slowdown here. I'm surprised for the Amiga standards. You don't get slowdown on the... Um, on the Commodore 64 version I played. Good. Yeah, a bit of slow down there. On here. See what I mean? It's like a little Chinese puzzle box. You've got to go left, right, up, down, shoot this. And then we have to go down there. See, we're still dangerously close to the water. I don't like it. We need to get up on that third platform to feel safe. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Let's get up out of here. Excellent. Right, so now it's all about the time. Good. Right, should be another, yeah, there he is. All the way up, just to shoot one little block. And all the way back down again. Dun, 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 dun. Um, oh, this is the worst bit. This is terrible, this bit. But lucky you do get several shots at it because you... See, you always fall on that platform. It's horrible. And the trouble is it eats your time away if you don't get it right. Ugh. And you've got to hurry because the platform suddenly goes down. No. Get a bit desperate there. Come on, this time. Now, no, just about to. Oh, see what I mean? You, oh no, now I'm disorientated. Which way do I go? Is it that way? No. Oh, it's that one. That's it. See what I mean? Yeah, it is that one. No, 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 where you get. No, that's not it, Daz. Isn't it? No, no, what am I doing? Come on. I was right the first time. See what I mean? You get so disorientated. When you get thrown off the tower like that, because platforms look the same. Right, let's try that again. Oh, time is running down. Go. Now. Oh. Mm. Come on. <laughs> try me luck now. Come on, stay calm. Go. Oh, is that. Come on, come on. Yes, get in there. God, Bennett. Oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, nightmare. Oh, I got through it quite easy that time. Come on. That's it. That's it. Go, go, go. Let's... No, I... Mother. I ain't going to have enough time. Oh, that's good. At least the computer's got rid of them for me. Okay, we yeah, we we should be able to do it now. See what I <laughs> should be able to see what I mean now. How frustrating it can be. Come on, I've got eighty units left. I've got to get. This. That's it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yes. Bit of a mare on that one, but still, again, a flawless run. No lives lost. That was the closest. Six down. Two to go. Yes, um, that would be an extra bonus if I could complete this for you without 
losing a single life at a no death run and that would be a feather in my cap as well because I've never completed this version without losing a life. Really time to do it, I've got a hell of a lot of lives in the bank. Nasty level again. But a few little puzzles here you got to do. Again. Wait. One more cycle. Go. Up there. Sit. Down there. Up. And again. Up. Good. That's perfect. Right. Good. Horrible little bit. Now, this is all down to timing again. It can either go very right or very wrong. It's all down to this. And it's gone right. I've just got to make these jumps. Because those platforms I'm jumping over disappear. Up again. Wait. Good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. And believe it or not, I can safely say already that this tower's done. Relatively easy tower, that is. Just got to get the timing right. You boars are going to jump off here, so I don't really care about you. And then... Up. Oh, I thought it was going to land on that straight away. Okay, well, anyway, it's definitely done this tower. Okay. Perfect. Tower 7 blown up so we're on the last level now without lost a life so far definitely complete this but come on get behind me come on get behind zeus everyone start cheering egging me on let's try and complete this without losing a life do this just for my subscribers And to give you a bit of entertainment while we're going through this crazy time in the world right now where the world is going to sleep. A bit of entertainment. Try and get a bit more, a few more videos out. Tower 8. Immense concentration. My adrenaline's kicking in a bit. And I've got my own way of doing this at the beginning. There's two ways around this. You can either shoot all the boars that are coming up on the left or go around them. Which is more deadly. And I chose to go around them and do this. And land on that tiny platform. Come on, you. Jump. Shoot. Boom. And there's a reason I do that. Because now I'm ahead of the uh, the clock. Which means these aliens... They're not there. There should be three aliens there. Up and down. But now they appear. Good trick, that, isn't it? Yes, good. That's a horrible jump. In, through there, nope, through there. Shoot that block, good. Excellent. Excellent. Perfect. There we go. Go, 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 go. Oh, that is absolute perfection. Bide me time, bide me time. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, you git. Um, um. No, and I'm going to fall through that platform as well, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, blimey. Um, yeah, it's, it's that way. That's right. We go up. And up again. Right, okay, I'll do it this time because at least that other alien's gone. I'm going to wait up here this time till he comes again. In fact, it was so quick I didn't have to. Go. And again. Now. Go. Oh, quick, 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 quick. This is it. This is it. That is game completed. That is the perfect run. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, Zeus Daz audience, just for you, Nebulous completed on the Amiga without losing a single life. The perfect run. There we go.
and that is a feather in my cap. I am a nebulous god. Let's get my name in there while I'm at it. Uh, oh, that's how you do it. D. Come on, you A. Z all the way at the end. There you go, right? We enjoyed that. Z. Lovely. So there you go. <sighs> I'm quite happy about that. I hope you lot are too. I did that for you lot. And as you can see, quite not a very high score because you don't repeat levels. If you keep dying, you keep repeating levels and you gain the score. So um, technically this game, the lower score you got if you can beat it, the more masterful you are. There you go. So there you go, Nebulous on the Amiga completed without losing a single life. And I hope you all enjoyed that. I should put a link to Nebulous 2 in the description and hopefully a pop-up will come up any second now and you can click that to see that, but that is using cheats. Bloody impossible to complete without cheats. Okay, until next time, thanks for joining me through the world of Towers of Nebulous with Pogo. Until next time, Zeus out.